Welcome to your magical moon message. This is the Peace Dealer. And this video is for the first quarter square. That's gonna take you there. This is an inglorious happening or a divinely glorious happening that will happen the way forward for you as your happening takes part of a collective happening in where everything will finally happen in route for everything finally happening, okay? Uh, there are four levels of happening that aren't constricted to just four, but for the sake of this magical moon message, when we speak of things just starting to happen, kind of like if you were taking... I don't want to reference methamphetamines. I just wanted to say methamphetamines so the syllabic nature of the verbose quality of the word would make me sound smarter because it just sounded like a word. But um, if you were to take like ecstasy or molly uh, or any kind of, you know, even ibuprofen that has a release uh, of a chemical, there is where you start to feel it happen. That's Gemini. But then there's where things are finally happening. Then there's the final happening. That's Pisces. And there's been a lot of setup. Whenever we have very uh, extraordinary Aquarius chapters, it always sets up a final happening. And this is that final happening. This is that final square with Sagittarius that, like I said before, it's going to take you there. This transit is brought to you by Neptune and Jupiter. So that's not only enhanced causality with the influence of a newly direct Jupiter, but also enhanced fuckery. Have you ever seen someone caught in a lie? Lie to you in your face and then gaslight you for even bringing up the fact that they lied in the first place. How you just go and bring up some facts to call out my lie? What's wrong with you? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of those transits. Emphasis on enhanced fuckery. Um, maybe for no reason in some cases. So... If you think of this space meteorology in the form of these transits, this is just the astro weather. This isn't necessarily meant to control or dictate what you do. You don't have to look at transits to influence what you do because, um, you know, some people take that approach. It's like, oh, you know, should I do this or should I do that? Honestly, that's the, that's you. you you don't even that's like looking at the weather. That's like that's like it raining and it's and it's like, you know, should I do that cuz it's raining and, you know, some people kind of some people won't fly a plane if it's raining too hard or some people won't go to the store if it's raining too hard, but it's also you can still also put a uh, a raincoat on. You can still also wait until the rain cloud goes. So, just keep that in mind. And I'm saying that because that's definitely going to be in the precipitation. Uh, with this Moon, Jupiter, and Neptune transit. But then again, it's also a Moon, Jupiter, and Neptune transit squaring angry ass Mars and Gemini. So I don't know why some of you are acting brand new, especially if you're going super keyboard warrior or if you've just been saying very poignant, charged words at people. This is what Mars and Gemini is for. And you want to go all out in Sagittarius. You want to tell someone that they're a steaming pile of, of spoiled shit from the 1800s that has just matured grossly and unlike wine. You don't even want to make sense in what you're saying just as long as you convey the emotion. Okay. Now, you don't necessarily have to make a fool of yourself, but you will get extra points if you do. You also want to be as fish tarted as possible. And I'm going to explain... Uh, certain emphasis on the importance of this transit. Jupiter is direct, my friend. And this is the moon kind of up. Jupiter going direct like it is and then the moon coming through is a legitimate firmware update. Well, software. We want to look at Pisces as software. I'm going to give you a really amazing analogy that came to me. Boop, boop. 
right when I inquired, thank you angels or spirit or whatever mind or whatever. Cool. So here's what's really dope about this. Shout out to you, Sheena. Um, you know, and shout out to the Aries too. But yeah, we have officially completed the new moon in Sag. It's a new cycle. It's a new vision. We manifested the moon in Capricorn. That's literally unboxing new hardware. And then we completed that with the moon in Aquarius on Saturn operating system. This is now the quarter square. This is the integration, integration. Okay, moon in Pisces, moon in Aries, and then moon in Taurus. Then we're gonna have the full moon. So, tell me if I'm wrong, but this is where you're starting to understand the meaning of what you just activated. Hence, this new moon in Sag for this last week, you have a new phone. Like, yeah, you might have had a practice phone six months ago, but now you have a brand new, supercharged, enhanced phone with super amazing features. You just unboxed it, okay? If you think about this phone as a brand new version of yourself, you are literally understanding the metaphysical unseen principles and dynamics around this brand new version of yourself in the form of how much more you believe and have faith in aspects of yourself and situations and experiences that your vision, Sagittarius, can feel comfortable in that home in fourth house to the sun and Sag so that, and this is so crucial, this is off the heels of 12 years of evolution. So your fundamental self-concept and how much more badass of an mf -er you believe yourself to be and then see in your physical re reality is not only leveling up, but it's preparing for perhaps one of the most amazing integrations of all time. So let's take back this analogy, your manifestation or, you know what I'm saying? You want to think that you've been ordering this phone for six months. You were very excited about this phone. And then three months ago, you started to get like actual details on its progress. Like from June to September, you were like customizing what you wanted in this phone, this new version of yourself. You know what I'm saying? And then from September to like now, you're like, oh my God, it's on its way. This was like the breakthrough. It's like, oh shit, this is a real thing, Virgo. It's like, okay, whoa, like, it was an idea, I customized it, but it's real now. It was so controversial. The first boss battle, they almost tried to rule that this phone was was too controversial to even be shipped, but you still stood your ground, you broke through. Then it's on its way, Virgo season, but then there was a second boss battle. You know, some kind of interest groups tried to stop the delivery from coming through. They try to stop you. But you got the phone! You got the phone! You're look, if you're watching me right now, you got the phone. This is huge. You, this, this is so huge right now. This is so huge. Because you're about to go through the final boss battle. Where now it's like, damn, we literally spent years stopping the development of this and you have the phone. Now we have to directly confront you. But it's cool. It's cool. The end of Sagittarius season, you are effectively unboxing this new version of yourself, this phone, you're personalizing through the integration, you're coming into the major fee, right? It's like you got a new phone, you're downloading the app Moon in Pisces, and then by the climax of the transit, you're at the leaderboard of the app game you're playing because you've reached the first level of results, right? And this is representative of your capability to effectively utilize this phone, this new version of yourself relative to this new cycle. Why? Because in Capricorn season, you're not unboxing a new phone. You are using this new version of yourself, this new phone to kick ass at these corporate elites who think they can discontinue 
this amazing version of your phone. You know why the fuck they're mad at your phone? Because you don't have to pay them a month. Your phone's controversial because Moon and Aquarius, you downloaded the controversial operating system, Windows, or if you have an Apple, iOS, fuck it, with the uh, square to Uranus and Taurus, which is the jailbreak system, which was basically black market in a deregulated, decentralized place with the Uranus outside of this world, outside of Saturn regulation. And so they're so mad because now you don't have to really play these broadbands and, and you, the existence of your phone is going to inspire other people to get the phone. And so they've been trying to get rid of you, you know what I'm saying? Because now you're backed by people who actually have wealth. And now it's like, damn, like you're going to put us out of business. So like it's all sorts of crazy. And I don't think a lot of you even know how precious your existence is as a commodity and the rest of Sagittarius season starting now with this moon in Pisces is going to help you understand because you're going to start to download software on this new phone and you're going to be like oh my god there's no way this can be legal there's no way this can be like I don't even need a job after this I don't even need this and you're going to start to realize your phone is precious you're going to understand capabilities and abilities about you and the new version of you that's going to be like there's no way this can even be you're going to start to see yourself as just another level of dope some of you are about to see yourself as taboo like like am I illegal like is my existence like <coughs> Am I even allowed to exist? <laughs> okay, I know that. And I want to highlight how goddamn strange that sounds. There's nothing like unstri like everything about this trans is going to peer into the stranger. So, I want so that's that's okay. Okay. I'm getting really excited cuz this is the phone that you've been waiting for. Like this ah, you don't understand this, this, this. You saw this <sighs> You saw this phone 10 years ago as a concept. People laughed in your freaking face. Remember, Sagittarius season is show me. It's, I told you so. So people laughed in your face. People with their ex distinguished experience. Like, you have a phone like that is not even possible. Like, you're crazy. Like, you're, you're a conspiracy theorist. Like, it's not even. And look at you now. Look at you now. You know what I'm saying? Like, halfway there, you started to see developments. See, it's possible. Ha, ha, ha. Are you still on that? Are you still on that? And now look at you. Look at you. They listen. 2020. They started to look at you weird because you were beta testing that bitch. You were like, hey, yeah, this is the prototype. And they were they were shook. But they, you know, how they had to front of me like, they're, please, they're not going to pass that through. There's no way the government's going to pass that through. Here, this is a pipe dream. But you got the phone now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, like, listen, the moon's, the moon's going to go into Aries. And then you're just going to pop out on the scene like, yeah, bitch. And people are just going to be like, and that's it, and that's it, and that's it, and that's it, and that's it. This is, remember, remember. This is, this is, this is all to change. The, I'm sorry, I don't think, I don't think you know. I don't think you're going to know until the full moon. Then the moon's going to be in Leo. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. The moon is going to be in Virgo in the 10th house. And that's when you're going to bring receipts like, hey, remember that phone you said? Yeah, bitch. Yeah, you see the features, bitch. You see the features, bitch. All right, my bad. Oh, I have less than a minute. Okay, so listen, 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 listen. Join the extended. If you're subscribed, I'm going to go extended on this for, for Moon and Pisces to Moon Taurus. Basically, you got the operating system. All right, you unbox the hardware Capricorn. Aquarius was the activation of the operating system. And now you're downloading the apps, okay? You're understanding unseen metaphysical principles of this new dope version of yourself, which means the square is new comfort. That means you have to let go of your old phone. You have to let go of your old phone. This is where you have a new phone. You, you don't need the old phone. This new phone has new features. You let go of the old version of yourself. You need, you're, you're not going to be as comfortable like if you had your own phone. You have to get new apps and all that, but you have to embrace this new, more advanced understanding. 
more to come if you're subscribed. I'm going to go in on the extended. Y'all stay blessed as always. Godspeed. Peace.